The first suspect is a Conover resident arrested late last week by Maiden police on a felony drug count. He remained in jail as of earlier today and was scheduled to appear in court today. 68 year old Paul Douglas Baker of 2nd Street Southwest in Conover was arrested Friday by Maiden police officers. He's charged with felony possession with intent to sell and deliver cocaine. Baker was incarcerated in the Catawba County Detention Facility under $28,000 bond. He remained in jail as of earlier today and a district court appearance was scheduled today. 24-year-old Jordan Max Hunt of Lavinia Lane in Conover was arrested Thursday by Catawba County Sheriff's officers. He's charged with felony possession of a stolen motor vehicle. Hunt was confined in the Catawba County Detention Facility under $11,000 bond. He remained in jail as of earlier today. A district court appearance was scheduled for today. The next suspect lists addresses in Lincoln and Mecklenburg counties. He faces break-in and theft charges here in Catawba County. 48-year-old Michael Wayne Rich of Hillview Drive in Iron Station, who also lists a Charlotte address, was arrested by Hickory Police at 9:15 Thursday night on one felony count each of breaking and entering larceny and possession of stolen goods. Rich was arrested after officers responded to reports of a trespasser at a construction site on Startown Road. Officers found the suspect and they also found stolen items in the suspect's vehicle, according to police reports. Rich was taken into custody at the scene. He was jailed in the Catawba County Detention Facility under $8,000 secured bond. He was not listed as an inmate today. A first appearance in district court was scheduled today in Newton. 21-year-old Toby Butler Guffey of Whitetail Circle in Conover was arrested last Wednesday by Newton police. He's charged with possession of heroin and simple possession of Schedule 4 controlled substance. Guffey was jailed in the Catawba County Detention Facility under $4,000 bond. He remained in jail as of earlier today. A district court appearance was scheduled for today. Reporting from Catawba County for WHKY-TV News, I'm Rob Eastwood. Back to you.